welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a get on ready with me. I originally had a whole um, everyday updated makeup routine going but the sound quality on that video did not come out to my liking so today we're just going to do a little get on ready with me. I'm going to show you what I'm doing to get on ready. Um, I have a full face of makeup on from early morning so this is like 10 12 hour makeup and then I need to wash my hair today because I have a lot of dry shampoo in there so I want to show you guys what I've been using as my nightly routine products so nonetheless if you haven't already definitely subscribe to my channel we are close to 200 subscribers you guys 10 people away um, if you're new to my channel thank you guys so much for watching my video I really enjoy anything YouTube beauty fashion makeup related so if you guys want to see a little bit more of that as well as my cute little family i just i love to do like family vlogs here and there so if you like to see content like that definitely subscribe to my channel it is free and you join my family here on youtube also give me a like that really helps me out and leave me a little comment down below to see what kind of videos you guys would like for me to film for the future but yes let's get into this get unready all right, if I could show you the way I have you guys set up right now, I think you would laugh because there's just nowhere really to set you guys up. And on top of that, I wasn't going to bring my ring light and my big tripod. It's just this bathroom's not big enough for that. So I'm not going to do all that. Um, I'm going to start with doing my face. I am going to remove my makeup because I do have a full face of makeup on. What I'm going to use to remove the makeup is this Alvaline moisturizing cleanser. It looks like this. And it's just like a thick, milky cream. And this just takes all the makeup off without me having to rub the crap out of my skin. As well as it doesn't like dehydrate my skin, it actually hydrates my skin. So I really love that. In combination with this cleanser, I am gonna double cleanse as per usual. You should always double cleanse to make sure that you get all that gunk off your skin, ladies. We really wanna clean our skin. So I am gonna double cleanse with the Advanced Snail Mucin Gel Cleanser from CauseRx. Mine looks very ugly and used and abused. She is almost empty, you guys. I am running very low of cleanser, but I still have enough to get my make makeup off. So I'm gonna take my makeup off and then I'm gonna double cleanse with this bad boy just to get everything fully off. And then from there, I will probably hop into the shower because I need a shower. So let's get on to washing my face. I pulled out a couple of goodies from my skincare fridge. Um, this is an overnight cream and an eye cream from Lancome. And then my jade roller, you guys. This is nice and cool and chilly and just it feels absolutely amazing because it's cold. Um, also, I am reincorporating the hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. And I'm going to roll that on. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower, do my hair care, and then, you know, my skincare for my body, and get into my PJs. I'll probably show you what I used on my hair, um, but yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so I showered, um, as you can see. Um, so what I've been using lately is this Heritage Split and Rescue. Um, these you can get at like Walmart or Target. And I just use, a, use about a dime size amount and I put that mostly on like my ends. As for my hair, I don't do like crazy amounts of 
hair care. I just do like the basics. Um, as for as for my shampoo and conditioner, lately I've been using the Olplex number no. four and the Olplex number no. five. I do have replacements coming in because as you can see, I am running out. Um, I use this on myself, my kids, even my fiance, and they all seem to love it. It smells really good and it leaves your hair nice and clean but soft and shiny. So I do recommend these. A lot of people have had good results and bad results. If you use too much of this product, then yes, you're going to have bad results. But if you use it to the instructions imply, then you'll be fine. What I like to do before I shower is brush my hair out before. That way when I get out the shower and I do brush my hair, it doesn't pull that much. And then with that shampoo and conditioner, my hair doesn't pull that much, thankfully. As you guys can see, the brush is literally going through like butter. I moisturized my skin with the Nivea Cocoa Butter Body Lotion, which looks like this. And then I used the Moisturizing Body Oil from Palmer's. And that's what I used on my body. As for scent wise, I will be using the Champagne Toast Bath and Body Fragrance. Love this, it smells so good. I don't have like a hair clip in here, so I'm just gonna end up putting my hair up in a little bun. And then when I'm done, I'll let it back down. So as for my skin, normally I have been doing a mask at least two times a week. And it is the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Mask. So this is what that bad boy is. It looks and smells very good. It has like little seeds in it to help exfoliate once you've left the mask on for about three minutes. I do not leave this on for more than three minutes because I do have sensitive skin and this will leave me looking like a tomato if I leave it for longer than three minutes. So beware. I was using the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Serum and the Dew Drops, but I have officially hit pan on these. I will be doing like a product empties video, so stay tuned because I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff that I am going to be, you know, giving you my thoughts on, whether I recommend them if I'm going to repurchase and how long they lasted and all that good stuff. So I will be doing like a product empties video soon. Um, but something I have been loving is my Glow Recipe Toner. This is the Pore Type Toner with hydrating and pore refining benefits. Um, I like to just pour it in my hand a little bit and then like this and just tap it all over my skin. And normally guys, I will do my skincare as my skin is damp from after cleansing it. Um, or if it's not damp, I'll do this Evian spray. I'll just spray this. I should have sprayed that before my toner, but I didn't, so I did it now. Um, so after my toner, I am going to do my hyaluronic acid from Inky List, which looks like this. This is very inexpensive. I put a couple drops in my hand, go like this, and then pat it in. In order for hyaluronic acid to work, you want to make sure that your skin is damp just so that it can, you know, absorb into the skin. So then after that, I'm going to go ahead and use my moisturizer. This is the Absolute Night Premium Rejuvenating Night Cream. So it looks like this. It has a little peachy tint to it. So then the last thing I'm going to do cream wise is my eye cream. This is also from Lancome. This is their replenishing and rejuvenating eye cream. It looks like this. And I like to pat you guys never tug on your eyes. Please don't tug on your eyes because we are avoiding fine lines. And then this area right here, please do not neglect because it turns into crow's feet and we do not want that so all right so after doing that i'm going to take my clean jade roller and just massage that in so i'm going to do it three times up on each section of my face
keep in mind this feels amazing because it was in my skincare fridge so it's still nice and cold this you guys feels amazing when you have like a migraine or a headache I highly recommend using the giant roller on your skin when you have a headache because it will feel 10 times better that is about it the last thing I'm gonna do is spray my face with the Evian spray and this is just gonna you know lock in the moisture and then to top off the skincare you need to hydrate your lips because overnight your skin your face your lips your hands everything is just rejuvenating itself and just healing and so you definitely want to hydrate to the gods I'm currently using the Laneige sleeping mask in vanilla this smells so good you guys and it's a good amount of product it this has lasted me quite a bit of time to be honest um, I have their lip balms I have this little pot um, and I do have the lip sleeping mask from summer fridays that is also very very good i love that they repackaged it because the applicator on the older one i really don't like it but the new one has like a little lip applicator and i really like that so i'm grateful that they changed it because that way you don't like use too much product or lose excess product all right guys so this is what we're looking nice and glowy after the shower look at these earrings aren't they just so cute they like cuff around the earlobe and then the earring on the top i just i feel like it looks super cute i'm gonna go ahead and let my hair down oh i'm gonna take you guys downstairs to make a tea real quick and that's about it that's all i'm gonna do to get unready today i just want a little bit of a tea and sit down and relax watch some tv and then go to bed because i'm tired so come with me all right guys so as for my tea i will be using the chamomile caffeine free tea and i just get the great value one because i just i feel like they're the same um this is what it looks like i like to put two packets in my tea because it just doesn't taste the same if i don't i'm currently boiling some water back here um and then i'll put the packets in there pour my tea in here and then I just go sit down and watch a little bit of TV and go to bed or edit, you know, whatever I have on the agenda that day. But that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to do a little bit of unwinding and get ready with you guys. Um, I will be having a makeup video coming up real soon, so stay tuned. And like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely do. It's free. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Johnny Bob.